Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to start learning about inheritance. Now, inheritance is a very big part of object-oriented programming, and it's a way to uh, write the code once and be able to use it over and over again. Now, let's go ahead and come into our allcars.vb all file, and you can see here that we have our class car. Now, this is inside of the namespace all cars. So let's come down here and just under class car, we're going to make another class. So we'll call it sports car. We'll go ahead and hit enter, and you can see it adds in class to us. So now we have sports car and car inside of all our all cars namespace. So what we need to do to inherit from the car class is type inherits car so basically what this is saying is that um, everything that the a car can do or all of the functions and methods and variables inside of a car we can use those inside of our sports car without having to rewrite the code all of again all again now if we didn't inherit we would have to copy all of this and paste it down in here make our code really ugly and you'd see a bunch of the same thing over and over again so what we're gonna what we did is just we inherited from car so now let's add um, some values to our car so we'll come up here and we will add private weight as uh, let's just do integer so we have a weight variable to get the weight of our car and now what we need to do is come down here and since uh, we're making a sports car, uh, you're probably wanting to know uh, what the horsepower is. Actually, I got that mis me mixed up. Um, we want to add horsepower up here and then the weight down here. So when you have a sports car, um, you probably are wondering what the uh, weight is in terms of performance. Um, for the ratio of weight to horsepower and this is something that you would look at when you're uh, trying to choose a sports car so now that we've added horsepower and weight let's come up here into our um, sports car class and we'll just uh, end that right there now we'll come back here to form1.vb and we will create a, um, a sports car object so we'll do private default sports car as new and then we'll use the namespace all cars dot sports car okay so now we have our sports car now let's come back here and we'll add a, a method that will send back the attributes of the sports car now you can see that we have uh, the overrides function to string for this now, this is what we use to get the general information of our car. So what we want to do is we'll just copy this right here. And we will make a sub. So public, we'll make it public so that we can access it outside of this class. Public sub get sports info. Uh, we won't need any arguments. We'll just paste this right here. And what we want is we want the name, the color, uh, the doors, the speed, and then we're going to add the weight and the horsepower. So we'll just add horsepower, and then we'll just type horsepower. Aha, uh -huh, here's our error. I made it a sub and not a function. So we want, it to, we want to make it a function and we want it to set it to type string so that it will return all of this. So we'll just send it uh, the horsepower and then the weight. and we'll just go ahead and put speed right there so that it accesses the property speed and you can see here that we are not getting any errors 
Now, the reason we're not getting any errors is because uh, the sports car inherits everything from car. So whatever is in uh, car, we can use it in sports car. Now you can see we do get an error on the horsepower because we made that private. Now let's come up here and we will make a property to get or set the horsepower. So gets and sets horsepower. And for this, we'll just add int horsepower right here. So we'll type public property um, horsepower as integer. Now for our get, we will just return int horsepower. And for our set, um, we'll type int horsepower equals value. Okay, so that will get rid of our error right here. You can see that horsepower shows up. And whenever you inherit from something, if you're inheriting private uh, variables, they will not, you will not be able to directly access them uh, through this like I did. You can see that car name is public, so we can access that. So let's come over here to our form1.vb again and we will just set some of the values for our default sports car. Now the sports car inherits the constructor from our car so it sets the color, the speed, and the number of doors. Now sports cars ideally have two doors but we'll go into overloading constructors uh, in the next tutorial. But we're just going to need to set the weight and the horsepower. So for now, we'll just make weight public, and then we'll add a property later on. Okay, so we'll come over here to form1.vb. We'll type default sports car dot weight, and we'll set it equal to, let's say, a thousand pounds. And then we will set the horsepower dot horsepower equals and let's just give it 500 horsepower now for show info uh, where is it right here we'll just go ahead and type default sports car and if we use dot to string it would work fine and give us certain information but we want all of the information so we'll just type uh, let's see get sports info Okay, so let's go ahead and run this, and we need to hurry up here because I'm running out of time. But we'll go ahead and click Show Info. We've got um, the name. We haven't set it a name yet. Color red, number of doors 5, speed is 0, horsepower is 500, and weight is 1,000. Now, I didn't add a new line in there, but uh, I will add that, and we will talk more about this in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next tutorial.